The CIA revealed in one of its declassified documents from 1977 that the code 55515 can be used to reduce pain. Anecdotal reports state an almost immediate reduce in pain after using this method. Could it be a placebo effect? Or recoding your body? As I dug further into it, it turns out that 55515 is a gene related to pain perception that was discovered in 2000. A NCBI page on this specific gene writes, These channels have been implicated in synaptic transmission, pain perception, as well as mechanoperception. Mechanoreception is the ability to respond to certain kinds of stimuli. This gene is expressed predominantly in the pituitary gland. Interesting, right? To better understand how the actual method for reducing pain works, let's take a look at this declassified CIA document. Restriction. The material contained herein is intended for the personal and private use only by those who have completed the first session of the Gateway program. The attempted application by others may result in undesirable and uncontrolled effects detrimental to any such unauthorized user. Repeat this affirmation in your mind. I open this channel of communication only to those whose knowledge, wisdom, development, and experience is equal or greater than my own. I restrict such contact and communication to constructive purpose and reject all other. I open such channel only when I so consciously desire. At all other times, it will remain closed. 1. Do your resonant breathing exercise. Inhale deeply, pulling in energy from all parts of your physical body up to and then into your head. Hold your breath for a comfortable length of time, eventually holding it to the count of 10, swirling the energy around in your brain. Then exhale slowly through your mouth as though you were slowly and easily blowing out a candle. At the same time, imagine that you are expelling stale, used up energy through the bottoms of your feet. After the first inhale-exhale, your brain is filled with the new, fresh energy. On the second inhale, bring the new, fresh energy to your upper chest and arms, and exhale the stale, used-up energy from the abdomen down. On the third, bring the new energy to the abdomen. On the fourth, to the pelvic region. To the thighs and knees on the fifth, and on the sixth, to the lower legs and feet. It's as if we are filling an inverted jar full of new, fresh energy in six steps. Two, place all your problems and distractions in the security repository box. Three, say the affirmation while bringing back your strong desire to expand yourself and explore, know and understand, control and use the non-physical energies most beneficial for you and those around you. To reach focus 10 from consciousness number 1, C1, relax deeply in lying down or sitting down position. Feel yourself drifting into deep relaxation. When you can drift no more, say to yourself on an exhale, 2. Notice that you drift down a little more. If you do not, wait until you do. Then say 3, and so on until you reach 10. 10 may not feel the same each time, or even feel that it is the same depth each time. If you are dissatisfied with the level of relaxation at your 10, start again with 5, or even 2. To return to C1 from Focus 10, count slowly in your mind from 10 to 1. Emergency return to C1. Think of any part of physical body. Move that physical part, finger, foot, tongue, etc. You all know who today's sponsor is, Skillshare. I initially joined Skillshare to take classes on video editing and then also found myself taking classes on personal development. Recently, I took this class of modern meditation, Discover Your Potential, Power, and Purpose by Justin Michael Williams because I felt like I needed to balance myself. Even though I've always believed mindfulness and meditation are beneficial to me, I often put it on the list of things I will do someday. So, I decided to take this class, and I'm glad I did. By taking this class, I was able to identify the areas of my life that needed the most attention and break through self-sabotage and fears. This made a huge difference. It really helped. 
Therefore, I strongly recommend taking this class. Once you're done, you'll have a practice you can use on your own without any guidance. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives, where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. The first 1,000 people to use the link on my description box or my code will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Now let's get back to the video. Energy Bar Tool. Purpose. To stimulate and focus non-physical energies. Method. While sitting or lying down, relax thoroughly, perhaps counting to 10 slowly in order to reach focus 10. Then, no matter how vague it seems, take your energy bar tool from wherever you keep it, hold it close, and then tell yourself, on. With command, the bar lights up and becomes thicker in your hands. Then say, off. The light goes off, and the bar becomes thinner. Do this very slowly for a while. The tool probably should have a shape that makes it easy to hold. Some see it as a magic wand, others as a fluorescent tube, and still others as the tool out of Star Wars. Whatever shape appeals to you is best. After turning it on and off slowly, say once every second or two with intense concentration. Begin to speed it up slowly. If you find yourself breathing in time with the ons and offs, consciously disassociate the breathing from it. Also, disassociate the words on and off from the process. Speed it up even more. Hold the intense concentration. You will notice a subtle or not so subtle sensation in the solar plexus area, pulsing in time with the ons and offs. When you can hold the concentration on the energy bar tool on and off enough to speed them up even more, up to a slow stroboscopic speed, do so. Later, take it up to a faster stroboscopic speed, but make sure you are definitely turning the energy bar tool on and off, and that the sensation in the solar plexus, or perhaps all over the whole body, is in time with the ons and offs. Eventually, you can get the ons and offs going so fast that the bar appears to be on continuously, and the sensation in the solar plexus is one of exciting, charged, electrical warmth. The whole body feels more energized. This may be a subtle feeling at first, or quite strong. Achieving and maintaining this feeling while holding on to the EBT is the objective. After this exercise becomes easier and more familiar, you will notice that when you first grasp the EBT, it will begin to charge itself, and you along with it. Later on, you will find many uses for your EBT. It becomes a multi-purpose tool. When you have completed an exercise with your EBT, put it back in the place where you always keep it, so that later you will find it waiting and ready to be charged. Living Body Map Purpose 1. To locate areas of imbalance in the physical body. 2. To provide a channel for focusing energies on to specific areas of the physical body in order to balance and strengthen them. 3. To provide a channel for focusing energy on the whole physical body in order to charge it, give it energy, increase its vibration while increasing the muscular relaxation. First method. Go to Focus 10 and charge the EBT. Take out a two-dimensional silhouette of your body, a silhouette that looks like a paper cutout. Place your physical body behind the cutout and look at it from the front. The cutout or silhouette is white. Your physical body is emitting a great deal of light that shines through the silhouette, making it glow and sparkle. But you may notice areas within the silhouette that are dim or flickering. These are areas of imbalance and or weakness. Take your EBT and aim green energy at the area in order to balance the energies. Then aim an ultraviolet type of purple at the area in order to add a high energy, strengthening energy to the area. If the image or thought of the silhouette, the living body map, is not clear enough to perceive any dim or flickering areas, aim the green and then the purple energies at areas you know are weak and not in balance. When you have completed this exercise with the white silhouette or map, turn the map red. Now the energy from your physical body will make the map a very bright, glowing red. Again, look for the dim and flickering spots. If you see any, 
you will know that there is an imbalance or weakness in the circulation system in that area of your physical body. Rebalance them with the green energy and charge them with the purple energy from the EBT. If you know of any difficulties within the circulation system, you can balance and charge those areas of the map. Then, in order to look at the nervous system, turn the silhouette blue. For the muscle and bone structures, turn it orange. And for the organs and glandular system, turn it yellow. White is a composite of all the systems in the body. When you have completed all this, turn the silhouette back to white and charge the bright white silhouette with the purple charging energy in order to charge and raise the vibration of the whole body. Notice the silhouette becoming brighter and whiter under the purple ray. To reduce pain signals, look with your closed eyes at that part of your body which is the source of pain signals. As you look, repeat in your mind the number 55515. When you do these two things, the pain signals will slowly reduce until they are no longer important. Second method. Go to Focus 10 and charge the EBT. Now, instead of locating a paper cutout silhouette, find a translucent movie screen that you store in Focus 10. You can unroll it from the ceiling or have it permanently set up in an area of Focus 10 or whatever you like to do to generate this image or thought. The screen is white. Place your body in a standing position behind the screen. Then have it walk right up to the screen while you watch from the front. Your body is emitting a great deal of light that shows up as a bright, sharp, two-dimensional silhouette on the screen. From there on, the exercise is the same as the first method, turning the screen red, blue, yellow, orange, and white. Emotional Body Map First Method Complete the first method of the living body map exercise. Place the LBM silhouette back wherever you store it in Focus 10. Behind the LBM silhouette is the emotional body map, EBM, silhouette cutout of material finer and thinner than the LBM. It is a cutout silhouette of your emotional body. If no image comes to you of what shape your emotional body is, start with the image of your physical body, realizing that in time this shape may evolve into quite a different form. It may not. Now place this EBM over your emotional body, or if you prefer, place it over your physical body with the understanding that the EBM, the silhouette, is glowing from the emotional energy coming from your body. Look for the dim and flickering spots. Balance and strengthen them with the green and purple EBT energies. Then cleanse and strengthen the whole emotional system by sweeping the map slowly from head to foot with the high-energy purple light from the EBT. When the silhouette is much brighter and much cleaner, turn the EBT off and store the emotional body map back behind the LBM. Second Method Complete the second method of the LBM exercise. Pull down or use a second translucent movie screen behind the LBM. This screen is finer and thinner than the LBM screen. Place the emotional body behind the screen. Now. Look at the screen from the front in order to see the sharp, bright, two-dimensional silhouette made from the glowing emotional energies of the emotional body. Complete the exercise as in the first method. The more you consciously perform and use the methods listed above, the easier and more effective they will become.